So those who are going to receive the mark of the beast, they'll be tormented day and night. And the smoke of their torment will go all the way to heaven. Now, verse 12 comes and talks about the saints. Verse 11 ended with the sinners, with those who are worldly, with those who are walking physically, materialistically, living in this world and swimming in its lusts, in its pleasures and in its treasures. Now, verse 12 talks about the true saints and it says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So who are the saints? Those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. You know, the Holy Bible is incredible the way it is written, the way it's structured. You could talk about just one verse forever. Now, this is the patience of the saints. Why is it going to be the patience of the saints? Because there are times, and I'm not scaring you, okay? There are times coming down the track to be patient in him, it's going to be extremely difficult. To be, to tolerate those times, it's going to test you to the core, to the heart of everything. It's going to be so difficult, a day will be like a year. So this is the time where the saints will be tested. What are we going to do when we will truly face tribulations, and I mean tribulations, this is the patience of the saints. And here are those who keep the commandments of God. Commandment of God, who keeps them? The Church of Christ of the Old Testament in the end of times, which is the Jewish people. Jewish people are the ones who will keep the commandments of God. And who is going to keep the faith of Jesus? The New Testament Church, us the Christians. So those who will keep the commandments of God are the Israelites. And those who will keep the faith of Jesus as the Christians, the New Testament church. So it's talking about the end of times, which is the 21st century, 